Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One and welcome to Boots on the Ground. Let's get right into it. I work in a grocery store in California. We received an email that Genio is extending the shelf life of frozen turkeys from 270 days to 360 days, an extra three months in the freezer. I didn't know if this, if they will last that long, but three months is a lot of time. Um, so maybe they are definitely trying to extend life uh, into the fragile logistical food supply chain. This person said, I purchased eggs, an 18 banger, uh, on September 18. It was $6.49. It went today, October 9th, picked up the same eggs for $8.49. It was a $2 increase, and they said, unbelievable. This is in St. Louis. I'm having a hard time finding Crisco in a can. I went to three Walmarts, and they were completely sold out. My cousin is currently living in Saigon, Vietnam. She told me today that almost all the gas stations in Saigon are closed. The reason being, um, it's a little confusion what she said, but the reason being is when they import the gas, uh, they paid a certain amount of money for it. And now the price is a lot less a barrel. Um, so because now they have to sell the gas cheaper than when they got it, they decided to keep it for themselves and not sell it to people. Um, so I guess they'd take a loss on it if they priced it at the current rate. Um, the gas stations that are open, you have a two hour wait to get fuel um, and very inconvenient. The people are upset and said the government needs to take the licenses away from those businesses that are shut down um, and not wanting to sell their gas at a loss. This is Central Indiana. We finally got our John Deere combine. Uh, we've been following this story here for a long time. Uh, they originally ordered a November 2021 first promise delivery date was may 2022 then it was changed to june then to july then to september and finally arrived october 2nd um, we have been using a loaner from the dealership since september 1st and the dealer wanted to buy the brand new machine from us for 25,000 more than we paid for it but we're keeping it because it took a year to get it and supplies are not getting any better uh, this person said they talked to the Dick Sporting Goods manager, and this is in Michigan, and they said they just put out a bunch of expensive uh, coats and ski wear, down coats, etc. And as soon as they were on the shelves and the racks, people came in and actually grabbed the tons of them and just left the store, ran out of the store. Um, also, they were at a Costco, and same thing. Someone tried to steal a, one of the huge oversized TVs by just putting it on a flat cart and pushing it through the door. So widespread uh, people stealing things from stores. This person's in Minnesota. There was a temporary shortage of Portland. That is the item used for concrete and cement. Um, so definitely hard on people trying to finish up because they got to get everything poured before the cold sets in uh, because then they're, <laughs> we'll have to wait till spring. Um, this person also is a farmer and they said the John Deere combine part shortage. Uh, I t talked to my local mechanic and he says there's lots of combines that need to be fixed but they can't get parts. So is really putting a strain on harvest time. We live in a small town in central Alabama. Stealing has really gone up here. I had three fig trees. The figs were getting ripe, but I wanted to wait one more day. I had to go to town, was going to pick them in the next morning. We came back and every single fig was gone, even the little ones that were not ripe. Nope, not an animal, just a thief. Also, they had their peach tree hit. And they also had, last week I took my husband to the doctor while we were gone. Someone stole a cage of breeder uh, uh, quail. He is so upset. Um, also had a big fan or a fat hen stolen. So they're thinking it's a neighbor that's watching them. It's because they know exactly when to strike. So it's probably a neighbor watching them. And when they leave, the neighbor comes over and helps himself. So we've had to put locks on all of our animal cages now. This person said, Prescott, Arizona, no eggs at Costco today. I was shocked. Uh, there was maybe six 18 count white regular eggs, zero organic. Um, they usually have hundreds of eggs in the organic and in the regular and 
I watch you every day so I know what's coming, but seeing this for myself sent shivers up my spine. This person went to Sam's Club to buy a rotisserie chicken. I have bought them quite often, but not recently. Imagine my surprise when I saw how much they have shrunk in size. It usually takes two hands to carry what I estimate to be normally about three pound bird. Today, the chickens were so small, my sister asked me if it was a Cornish hen, and they included pictures, very small. Uh, also, I stopped for milk and eggs at Woodman, the largest grocery store in our area. The prices are comparable to Walmart, if not cheaper. Eggs were $6.15 for 18. Um, as I took a picture of the price, another shopper asked, are you taking a picture so you remember this moment when eggs are too high to buy? And they also said a gallon of lactose-free milk is $5.89. Um, incredible. Um, I failed to mention that I'm in Wisconsin, the dairy state. I grocery shop for just myself. I can't imagine feeding an entire family. This per person said, your prepper who reported on the Ohio buying back bed license is absolutely on point. This story below confirms. I will put that link in there, uh, so in the description, so you can see it for yourself. I just want to share some good news for you from Florida. I own a non-profit pet food pantry and we always help after hurricane ian was our fourth one we've helped supply pet food bowls lease collars harnesses and towels we provided 903 pounds of pet food this time we are a small pet pantry with just myself and my husband doing it we went to lowe's and they had antibacterial cleaner on clearance and we asked the lady to ask the manager if she could reduce the few a few cases so we could buy them and send them over with our supplies she came back and said, my manager said, take all of them. 71 gallon bottles of cleaner they donated. How awesome is that? Um, we also had a rescue we partnered with that gave us leashes, bowls, collars, harnesses, beds, and food. Um, so very, very good news helping those affected by the hurricane. Uh, I just had to laugh. I saw the report about Biden saying that there could be a slight recession is possible. But he doesn't think it's going to happen. Uh, someone needs to tell him that we are in more than a slight recession right now. I've noticed yesterday in one of our local restaurants that they now have a disclaimer on top of their menu and states, due to current market, we are char charging an extra 10% on all prices. This person also said, uh, they said also, many Cold War era missile silos were being reopened during the, dur due to the current Russia situation. Uh, and he said, even here in Wisconsin. So I haven't verified that, but if, if you're seeing anything around military post, um, it would not surprise me. The world is a crazy place. This person's on the uh, Virginia border, on the Eastern Carolina border area of Virginia, and they attached some photographs. Um, just a lot of things, empty shelves. If you're not used to seeing empty shelves, uh, You'll be astonished when you do see them. And, and not just like a little shelf missing. You, you could have 10, 15, 20 feet of nothing. Uh, so if you're in the area and you, you're listening to these reports and, ah, they're exaggerating. We're not exaggerating. Be, be happy and blessed that you are. Uh, you have plenty to buy. Now, granted, there's still plenty to buy in the grocery store. So when I bring up shortages, it's not like we're starving or areas are starving. It's just certain brands. It's certain things are in very short supply. The major Kroger marketplace uh, where I am switched to digital price tags for all their items. Even sale item prices are highlighted uh, in the tags. Um, so they're doing everything digital. That way they can fix them. So I, I like that because you know you're buying it at the right price. But it also can be raised very quickly in, in a hyperinflation environment. Uh, also, Walmart garden sections in their area has all their soils on sale for $1, and they said some of the starter mix are usually in the realm of $12. So if you need to get stocked up for next year, do it now. Um, uh, Dollar General pictures from the Oregon Coast area, uh, just decimated, decimated. That's all I can tell you, decimated shelving, nothing there. Um this is from San Antonio, Texas. My sister and her family's SUV was in an accident. It took two months for them to determine it, if it was totaled. And so they finally decided it was totaled. So they decided to get a 2023 
for truck. Um, they had to place the order and then they had to wait for delivery. Today they were informed to expect their delivery on their brand new truck for 12 months out. So I guess buying a new car truck off the lot is a thing of the past. It's sad it, it might be. I actually traveled on businesses, business last week, the first time in four years. I went from Seattle, Washington, uh, I think to Dallas. Um, I'm a homebody, but I needed to go to this conference. I was amazed at the number of people traveling and in hotels. Um, he said restaurant prices were terrible. A meal for two at a Mexican food place was $75. Breakfast was about $50. Bacon, eggs, some pancakes, coffee. Uh, they said the fish market was so crowded. I was amazed all the people could carry packages uh, and can get through. Um, it did not look like any fear of inflation. They also had to drive back to Dallas. Uh, they said traffic was horrible. Lots of traffic on the road. Lots of trucks on the road. Um, they said, not sure where people are getting this money because they saw a lot of people out shopping and just spending. I was amazed at the shopping and the people carrying bags. Not sure where the people are getting the money. I know my kids are maxed out uh, on bills versus pay. My wife and I paid for everything for that trip. Not saying we have plenty. We just like to spend on our grandchildren. Um, I was amazed at the amount of spending and people still seem to be unaware of what is coming. When they do wake up, you better be prepped and prepared because there will be nothing left in the stores if an emergency breaks out. <clears throat> I've watched your videos for a while now. Our grocery stores here are getting low. Shelves that were full now are bare. And Walmart here seems to be trying to make it look full. But certain categories in shelving are just moved and made smaller to look full. I'm a nurse and I'm very concerned at what's here, what's going on, and what is coming. Um... We are in Arizona near Phoenix, and I can say that I'm worried about people, especially those who need care in the near future, especially children and elderly. The hospitals are running low on medications of all kinds, and children, physicians, um, and, and trying to get treatment for children are harder and harder to come by. Medical and bandage supplies are dwindling. Uh, they say, get your gauze, your band-aids right now so you can have it. Um, they also brought up home remedies and any type of tinctures you can make and I highly recommend alternative medicine. Uh, use it wisely, but it can definitely be used um, to your advantage. So this nurse is very concerned. Get your medical supplies now. Wow, I put a 25 pound bag of soft white wheat berries in my Amazon cart five days ago. I didn't buy them. So they waited, they went from $34 to $48 in five days. Um, I looked at all the rest of the brands and all the similar, they all had similar increases with the exception of the rye. Even my most unprepper friends seem to be hearing about potential shortages. Uh, feels like the run is on. This person's in the rural area of Michigan. Um, I've been in this house for 20 years. Normally we turn the furnace on sometimes in November. This year we had to start it on October 3rd. I fear this means a long cold winter for us. The rate of natural gas went from 68 cents in September a unit up to 93 cents in October per unit. That's a 36% increase. Uh, thankfully, I spent a lot of time and processed a lot of firewood. Um, they're also saying that gas just went up 32 cents last week and a battery for my car three years ago was $92. They had to buy a new one, 184. That is a 100% increase, it doubled in price. This person says, I'm an electrical contractor in New Jersey. Supply chain issues and prices have gotten worse in our industry since the start of COVID. Our manufacturers and supply houses have told us to expect this to get worse in 2023. So if you need anything for any projects, now is the time to get it. My nephew works in a development firm that puts in lar large giant warehouses in Pennsylvania. He has told me that many of the warehouses sit unusable for six or more months because I can't get the equipment for the electrical services. This person said Ingalls croissant sandwiches, pre-made six packs was $7.49, now $9, a 20% increase. This person's in New York. and it, It's sort of depressing at first, but let's finish it. I live in an apartment alone here. I've been on this 
for a while. I've been at this for a while. I don't have the ability to grow food, so I have collected about six bins worth of canned goods and stored about 20 gallons of water, plus about 17 cases of water. Okay, my greatest concern is that people here and that most Americans have literally no idea what is going to happen. I'm afraid for my own safety, even terrified. Uh, I went through a process of grieving over the loss of our country. Uh, others, like you, have said to prepare ourselves for heaven. And yes, we're eventually going to end up there if you are a believer in Jesus Christ. Um, but there's some positives. She said, the last sentence just gave me great joy. Luckily, I have met another lady here who's really on the ball. So I am praying uh, that this lady will get some encouragement. And these ladies can encourage each other and, and prep together and not be scared by being alone. This person said, I went to Sam's Club yesterday and the milk was missing, all of it, not a single gallon, replaced with some box milk. This is from North Texas Sam's Club. This is a bit shocking to me. Maybe it was a busy weekend and wiped them out or maybe a cooler malfunction or recalled bad product. I don't know, I should have asked. We are used to so much abundance. It was surprising to me, but I can't imagine how those who have not been paying attention will react if everything were to stop quickly. Also went to Walmart and stick butter was wiped out except for some unsalted generic and a carry gold. Um, think how quickly shelves will clear out in an emergency. This person purchased some um, chowder. I think it's soup. Um, a package of 12. Actually, it's in a box. And it was... $45.48 and went up to $57.28. This is a 30% increase in one month. Uh, so do not believe the 8-9% inflation rate. Uh, it's probably 20-25% to 25 on most things. I live in a small town in West Virginia. Two weeks ago, diesel fuel was $4.89 per gallon. It has gone up three times in the last two weeks and now sits at $5.49. Um, but they did give some positive things. They See if you can find a local supplier um, your fuel supplier. Some of them will let you buy fuel directly from them. So he was able to buy diesel at 70 cents cheaper than the local gas station. So look for deals anywhere possible. A digital highway sign was posted on Route 95. Uh, this would be south of Boston, Massachusetts this morning. Get your emergency home escape plan ready. Strange, but a great idea. This is a four lane heavy traffic highway for all of Boston area travelers. Get your emergency home escape plan ready. This person said, can't find canned potatoes in the store. Went online. It's running 3 to $4 per can. Yup. Hard to believe. And will probably go higher. I was buying canned potatoes at Dollar General last year for $0.85 cents per can. My sister spoke with her friend that works at Dollar General store. She said, people are stealing so bad. They're opening up tissues and taking rolls out. Um... It's widespread, the amount of theft that's going on. People must be totally desperate, and they have no fear of being caught. Uh, this person just, organic butter, went from $6.79 up to $8.99, and then it went up to $12, major increases. And, and they gave other products. Just, just know it's major increases. As many people know, businesses are shutting down or firing employees just to stay afloat. Iowa is no exception. The cabinet company in their area, in northeast Iowa, uh, fired 100 employees. Um, basically, they, they can't get work or they can't get the raw materials to produce the goods. Uh, I talked to an Amish guy that works at an Amish place. Same thing in his factory, furniture factory. New Zealand Prime Minister put out they want to tax farmers on cows burps and gas and urine because they're you know bad for the environment so they're going to try to figure out how they're going to be able to fairly tax these new zealand farmers um, for their cows misfortunes we live in eastern washington state and we have a UPIC fruit and vegetable farm we have several crop failures due to the weather this year and our expenses have increased so much we had to raise our prices 25 percent we had very few people complain about our high prices and business has been booming. Uh, the past two years, people are doing a lot more canning and freezing, trying to prepare for hard times. I've been a prepper for 20 years, and this is the first time that my husband thinks that maybe it is a good idea. Uh, so that's good. I've talked to a lot of people that do not have their other loved one or their spouse on board prepping, and it creates so much tension. So when two people can get on the same page of music, a lot of things can get done. So. 
there you go. There's some boots on the ground. I hope you're preparing. I hope you're praying for your country. Uh, we're going to get through this. Thanks for watching.